Let's face it, Sony do the whole vlogging camera quite well, but the E10, the first one, there were some slight issues, but now they've potentially fixed it with the Mark II. They've tweaked it, they've improved it. It is a much better camera. When you're thinking about buying a vlogging camera, I think the ZV E1 is just a little bit pricey. It kind of is not for everybody. The ZV E10 Mark II is your every person vlogging camera. You could get this. I bought the original and then stupidly I sold it and then bought the second one. <laughs> Trust me, I think this might be the one if it's any good, but we're gonna find out today. I was just formatting it and it's got a very new plasticky click. Can you hear that? You must be able to hear that. But anyway, it is maybe because it's a lighter body. If you take the battery out, it's a lighter camera. Even with this new lens, it's a lighter package than the ZV E10. But it's got a new, um, I say new battery, it just used the Z battery. Oh, finally! Which is good. This is the juicy one you want. You want the juicy battery. You want to get rid of those old batteries. I said it in my video that why can't Sony just kill it? But, uh, sorry, I just got triggered. But let's put the, the muff on. The, the Sesame Street, the, the character. <laughs> what length is this? 16 to 50? Yeah. yeah. Honestly, I'll ditch it and go for the 10 to whatever it is. 10 to 11. 10 to 11? Is it 10 to 11? That's just one millimeter <laughs> apart. <laughs> 10 to 22. It's not even 10 to 22. If we're talking about crop, the best lens is probably the 10 to 20 millimeter f4 uh, OSS. That was the first one. I think the second one didn't have any OSS, but that is the best one uh, which I've got at home, which is why I, I know the exact focal length. I wouldn't forget such a thing, would I? But you should get that because if it's not too much bigger than this and it's got this fixed aperture. Plus 16 is a little bit tight. Oh, well, it's not too bad. No, I mean, it just about fits. So this is with the internal mic thing, free capsule mic on auto. They've apparently improved the, I don't know what they've done. They've improved the algorithms or improved whatever. Because last time, sometimes it um, confused which way it should yeah. use. That's quite, that's quite magnificent. Yeah, it's like a whale tail from here. It's Superman, car train, no. Last time it got a bit confused about where the voice was coming from in auto, which meant sometimes having to choose it manually. But anyway, they've improved it, supposedly better at picking up the voice I've got on auto, even if you flip it around, hopefully you should still pick up on my voice rather well. we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Um, anyway, let's go, let's walk and talk, shall we? The mic is one of the key features about Sony's vlogging cameras, so thankfully, the mic worked well and didn't get confused with the direction of the audio. We even tested it with more background noise in an environment that would do any auntie proud. So we're coming for a bit of tea and scones? Vlog's gone for cookie. Hopefully you can hear what the mic is like. We came here to test the mic. That is it, that is exactly that. Yes. And this, you know, we, we, we just we just need the sound effect when we buy into scone. <laughs> well, maybe we should test out the, the overheating? I said overheating, not overeating. <laughs> Off on a tangent a bit, but worth knowing that the camera could record 4K 25p for four hours at least, and would go on for longer, but the memory card ran out of space and I got bored. So one thing about the ZV E10 was that the rolling shutter that was so bad. I think we're trying to make some uh, cool transitions and stuff like that. But this would be better because the processor is better and therefore the readout speed is better. I mean, if you're whipping it about, if you're whipping your thing about. So when we talk about rolling shutter, I mean, obviously this review it's going to be watched by people other than camera nerds, so we might have to explain what, what is rolling shutter. Rolling shutter, basically a sensor reads things out by lines. And if it's rubbish, it's a slow reader. It's, it's somebody who's very slow at reading a book. I don't know where I'm going with this analogy. <laughs> Simply put, slow readout speed means it can't keep up when you move the camera fast like this, or wobbly jelly-like. 
faster readout speed would look more like what you see when you shake your head around like a crazy idiot. The ZV E10 II looks more like that than the wobbly jelly like stuff. B rolls, B rolls. Power zooms, which I like. Yeah, I like that Sony slowly getting into that power zoom thing. And they were pretty good as well. It's not yeah. like the power zoom from years ago. No, they do it well. But although this is a vlogging camera, it's also capable of taking stills. Oh my God. Oh, really? A, yeah, I know, it's amazing. It's even got a little switch on top to switch from video, S and Q, which we'll get to in a bit, and stills. Stills mode, it's 26 megapixels, 11 FPS. It's got 759 face detection auto focus points. The old one had 425, mm. and then it's coverage of 94%. I think the old one is 84%. So more, more stuff, more AF stuff, which is nice, but you'll probably never use this for still. So let's move on to the video. <laughs> it's got all of the good stuff for video. Oh, oh no, I thought that was a deer, it's a bench. <laughs> <laughs> and here we see in the wild, a Richmond Park, a park bench. <laughs> it's a Sony, auto-focusing for video is great. It's got the eye, person, animal, vehicle detection. Sadly, no bench detect. In Sony, um, subject recognition is better than guys. It's better than me, yeah. I, I don't even know what picture profile I've got on, I've just got it on the default mode. I imagine they've probably got it on at least S-Cinetone. What is S-Cinetone? It basically, it gives you a sort of cinematic look Kind of low contrast, a little bit low contrast, a not too saturated, low, not too low, but it just looks nice straight out of camera. So if you want some nice footage, if you want it to look like some one of your favourite YouTubers with their cinematic vlogs, choose S Cinetone. It's a lot less faff than S Log Free. What is S Log Free? It's a faff. No, it's not too bad. You just put a lot on. Lots all the rage now, isn't it? Yeah, but if you want some styles, you've got styles. So there we are, Cine Vlog on, off. It adds the black bars. Wow. Because that is partially what makes something cinematic, isn't it? It's like in the 90s. But uh, yeah, so you've got S and Tone, as you can see there. And then you can choose some very appropriate names if we're talking about toilet cleaners. <laughs> so. Five looks and four moods. Yeah, lots of different combinations, basically. You can mix and match them. So you pick the look first. S in a tone, clean, <laughs> right. chic, fresh, mono. So with this, you've also got moods. You've got gold ocean forest, auto gold ocean forest, oh. just in case you want a different mood of toilet duck. <laughs> <laughs> they should have called a look vibe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> why? What's the vibe we're going for, and then what's the mood? We want this vibe and that mood, instead <laughs> of that look. That's a bit boring, isn't it, Sony? Yeah. You should go for vibe. Visual vibes. I feel so trendy now. Visual vibe. Let's go for this visual vibe. Okay, we're going for this visual vibe. Clean gold. <laughs> <laughs> I sound like I'm into some kind of um, money laundering or something. I want clean gold. <laughs> I'm gonna buy some clean gold. Oh, it's a clean forest. Oh, yeah, no, it's fresh gold. Oh. <laughs> fresh gold vibe. I'm very orange. <laughs> it looks like I've applied lots of fake tan today. <laughs> we all <are> twelve. <laughs> and I'm not saying that I usually apply fake tan. Yeah, you see you can do your you can do your, your fancy B-rolls. We should do it in slow motion really, shouldn't we? Now you can because you can do 4K60. Yay! Amazing. So we've got the cine, cine vlog on. Cine vlog on, you can't do 4K 60, but you can do S and Q. So you can do... What does it mean? Slow and quick. You can do 50 frames per second. Oh, what? You can't do 50 FPS in vlog mode. So it's on 4K. Oh, you can't change the frame rate. Yeah, sorry, you can't do slow and quick, and you can't use a higher frame rate for slow motion goodness in Cine Vlog. But if you can do without the already added black bars and hygienic precious metal vibes, you can record 4K 60p in all the other picture profiles. Okay. Just because there's a little bit of sun, you don't have to get your tits out, do you? 
Get your tits out for the ladies. I just realized the menu system is the new Sony menu system. Yes. From A7S Mark III. That's right. Which the last set we E10 had the old one. Yeah. That, this is much better. It, it is marginally better. Well, compared to the, the old one, it's much better. Yes. Actually, I haven't even checked what stabilization I'm using. This is the standard settings. Okay, it comes with active on. So it's almost like Sony know that for maximum effectiveness, yeah. it's active. You better use active. That means electronic stabilization. Let's show you. With steady shot off, steady shot off and filming, walking and talking shots, let's not show too much because you might get motion sickness. Standard steady shot is very marginally better, to be honest. Active stabilization is what makes these walking, talking shots bearable, but notice how much tighter it is on my face, which is due to the crop incurred from using active mode, which is why I recommend a 10 to 20 millimeter lens. It's wider. The only time you don't get a severe crop is on standard, which is better than the previous E10, which still had a 1.2 times crop unless you film in 24p or full HD. Still, worth noting that the active steady shot feels even better. It's good, not perfect though. There are times when it feels a little heavy handed and tries to overcompensate for movement or perceived movement. Try and do these, these human gimbal shots to see what it's like with act active stabilization. The active steady shot will make handheld footage look smooth enough. Although it shares the same active moniker, it is an improved, uprated version of the one seen in the ZV E10. So, this is a telescope which lets you see, I believe it's St. Paul's. Which... That's I. Oh, well. <laughs> that's, that's um, by law, there's a, an obstruct wheel to St. Paul. That's a beautiful telescope. Let me see, I want to see St. Paul's, because that's quite... I hope I'm looking in the right end. Oh, yeah. The visibility is really bad today. It was, it was really clear last time I tried. Show off. What we got over there? Let's go that way. That's very, that's very Casey, isn't it? Oh, let's, let's point. <laughs> okay, so as standard, the picture profile is off, so you're using you know, no picture profile. Oh, I've been using a Cinetone for a while because I think it looks quite nice. Might as well try out a log. I've got the view assist on. You change that in the menus just so it doesn't look all washed out on the screen. You can see it as it might look in the final product. So you can apply LUTs in post-processing in your video editing software, or you can just go for one of the LUT settings here. You can import your LUTs on the camera and you can burn it into the, the file itself. Then PP LUT, PP LUT 2, PP LUT 3, 4. Yes, lots of empty slots basically. 16, I think that's reasonable. Mm. The Panasonic one, they had something like 39 or something. Yeah. It's just, that's a bit too much. When it comes to the video, it, it seems better equipped with stuff that will make not only beginners or you know people who don't really care about nerdy stuff, but also some more experienced shooters happy. It will appeal to a broader market than just what camera brands think vloggers are like. Two, one, two, three years ago, when the camera brands are releasing vlogging cameras. <laughs> it's like, who do they think vloggers are? Yeah, initially, uh, the, thing Sony, the thing about Sony vlogging cameras. Oh, defocus control. Yeah. Product uh, showcase mode. They've still got on this. They've got the product showcase mode. So we have a face, uh, and it's down there, down below. No, it's still my face. No, it's coming towards the box, coming towards the box. There we are. Yeah, okay. It's also got skin softening effect. <laughs> oh, it's been on. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> All the time, the whole time. Yeah. That must be on the standard. Ah yes, that's why we look suspiciously youthful in our complexion. The camera has hidden our old haggard skin. But anyway, back on topic. Oh, yeah. Battery life is pretty good. 23%. And by the way, the card is not in the same flap as the battery compartment. Oh, oh yeah, change that to five. Last time it was at with the battery yeah. the compartment. 
Other features, well, it's got breathing compensation to compensate for the squeezy thing it does when it changes focus. Personally, I don't mind lens breathing, but if you do, there's a fix to it. It doesn't have the auto framing of the ZV-1. That's <laughs> kind of, I don't know, it's it's kind of almost gimm gimmicky, isn't it? Almost, yeah. Yeah. But that's fine. This is for value for a vlogging camera. I would rather get this than this. Yeah, the problem is one inch sensor is almost worse than a phone. Yeah. But APS-C size sensor is much better than a phone. And it's not too much bigger. Except the lens. The ZV-1 too. Wow, yeah, lens. It's not too pocketable. That's fine. So go for the ZV-1 too if you want pocketable. The ZV-E1 if you want to go all fancy in full frame, but that does cost quite a bit more. You can't complain. It's just pretty good. It is pretty affordable. good, yeah. Much better than yeah. the ZV-E10 two years ago. I just felt like I couldn't really properly recommend the ZV-E10. Yeah. But this feels like the product that it should have been. Somehow the last one feels like, uh, whatever. But this feels like, oh, that's our verdict. <laughs> <laughs> that's my verdict. This, we should do verdicts <laughs> with Mr. Bean noises. That was the Mr. Bean verdict. Yeah. Last time was, uh, uh, this time was, VE10. It kind of gets confusing because some of the names are quite similar. You've got, got the ZV. <laughs> <laughs> I own it and I've forgotten the name. Oh, crap. ZV1. Yeah, ZV1. <laughs> So that's the ZV-1, then they've got ZV-E-1, which is full frame, ZV-1 No, they've got it. ZV-E-10 like e first. No, you're confusing me. No, 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 no. Maybe it is the ZV-E-1 first. I'm just saying the sensor size. Like, ZV-E-10. E no, okay. But anyway, the E-10, the ZV-E-10 Mark II, it's a good job it's written on there. I always think this looks like a don't, don't take your deer, baby deer to here. <laughs> 